Hi guys and welcome to DIY Ideas and welcome to a new tutorial with fake fur wool. I have this cool loop scarf here um, made with really soft and cozy fake fur wool, obviously not real fur. Um, but yeah, I made this with like a super fluffy yarn. How exactly I did this, I'm gonna show you in this video. Have fun! Okay guys, so here we are getting started. This is the really really fluffy yarn. It's called um, Faux Fur. It has like this, yeah, it looks like fur almost. It's really cozy, really comfy. And yeah, on this one side we kind of have like the thread um, where the fluff is kind of like, you know, sewed onto. And yeah, how it gets, kind of holds together. And then the other side is, you know, more the fluff. It's 100% polyester, 200 grams, 120 meters long. And this is meant for a size 10 to 12 crocheting hooks. I'm gonna use my size 12 here. Um, I actually already used some of this ball of yarn. Um, I don't have 100, I don't have 200 grams anymore. I have about 140 grams left. Um, but that should be plenty for this project. Um, so I'm gonna get started here with some chain stitches. You can see it's yeah super fluffy. It uh, looks just so yeah comfy cozy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten chain stitches. Then I'm gonna add two for height, and then I'm gonna go backwards and half double crochets. So I go back here, pull it through. Now I have three on the hook. Um, as you can see, just it's, yeah, it's super fluffy, super cozy. And then I pull the thread through all three. Then here is the next um, spot. Oh, this is actually the one I already used. And so now I'm feeling kind of forward just to see where the next one would be because I can't really see very well. <laughs> I guess that's kind of part of the fluffy um, look. Okay, so here another half double crochet. Here again, I'm feeling, I'm feeling. All right. And here again through all. Okay, here it's just a little um, kind of like rolled up and so now yeah I'm just continuing I'm always feeling with my fingers here just because it's yeah it's not super easy to see where you're supposed to go in but with the fingertips it's honestly it's pretty easy to, to feel or to send where exactly you're supposed to poke in um, and here in the chain stitches yeah you just can't really tell <laughs> But I think this is going quite well. And here I'm getting all the way over to the other side. And I have one single stitch left here. And so I'm going in here now and then our first row is fully done. Okay, so both sides here just really nice, really nice and cozy. I'm going to um, not actually go into the stitches in the next row, but I'm going to go in between the two stitches. So if I kind of pull it apart here, you can see um, what I'm talking about. So this is our stitch. This is our half double crochet. Um, and you can't really see much more than that. And so it's going to be really hard to actually like poke in where you're supposed to be poking in. And so I'm just going to go here in between um, the stitches, okay? So this is going to be a lot easier. Okay, for that I'm going to do two chain stitches for height, and then we turn it all around, and then we always will um, go into the bigger holes, basically, <laughs> and do half double crochets. You just wrap around, and then with your fingers, just feel where the next bigger hole is. And then we're doing half double crochets here. Um, in general, the wool or the yarn is really easy to crochet with um, with the big um, crocheting hook. But sometimes, yeah, it just kind of slips out a little bit. Uh, 
and then we're done with row number two. So as you can see here, it's really nice and dense. Um, you can't really like look through it all, um, but you can feel <laughs> uh, the structure underneath here for sure. And that's exactly where we like poke in again for the next row. All right, two um, chain stitches for height, and then we turn it around and continue. All right, guys, so here's my update for you guys. Um, as you can see here, it's developing quite nicely. It's getting um, bigger very, very quickly. It's really nice and quick to crochet with. Uh, that's obviously because the, the yarn is very thick. And obviously also the crocheting hook is pretty big. Um, but yeah, anyway, you still just have a nice and um, not really compact, but just thick structure. And yeah, I think this is becoming a really nice stuff. I'm going to continue crocheting this and I'll show you what it looks like then. All right, so I have a tiny bit of wool left over here, or I don't want to really call it wool, it's, it's yarn. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so here we are. And I crocheted with this all the way over. Basically, it's a kind of a short scarf. Um, but I'm just going to crochet this together for a loop scarf. It's really, really simple, honestly. Um, so we go in into the last stitch. This, this is where we basically finish the um, crocheting. And then I'm going to take the other side of the scarf and kind of flip it over. So just that I have them right on top of each other. And then I'm going to take my thread here back on the hook. One chain stitch. And then I'm just going to go in and poke through both sides. Okay, and so I'm just going to really, really simply um, with slip stitches just connect the two sides. Okay, so you always just poke in through both sides get the thread, pull it through, and pull it all the way through the other side. And honestly, I can like feel pretty well where um, the stitches are. And so I'm just feeling around and then pulling it through when, I, when I'm in the right spot. And with that, we're getting, you know, we're, we're connecting the two sides really, really easily. And you can't really tell it either from the outside, so this is a really great um, way to do this. But yeah, so this scarf didn't really turn out super long. It was maybe like two thirds of a ball of yarn. Uh, with the whole ball, you could have definitely um, crocheted a whole like full-size scarf. Um, but yeah, because this is also kind of wide for a scarf, um, it's just a little shorter. But so obviously, yeah, depending on what you're uh, looking for, you can adjust, um, you can adjust this. Okay, so I'm just going to pull the thread out here because we reached the other side. Alright, here's the rest of the thread. Obviously, I'm going to go ahead and hide the thread here later. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like now. And yeah, it's just super, super cozy and um, the loop scarf. I love loop scarves. <laughs> um, and I'll put the thread inside. And so this is the seam where we just connected them. Um, and as you can see, the, the seam is not like very visible. It's uh, very hard to see, which is great. And then here, the scarf itself, super cozy, really, really soft. And it feels, yeah, just kind of like a nice fur, honestly. And yeah, I think this turned out really, really well. You can obviously make like uh, nice headbands or maybe even pillows out of this. Uh, that could be fun. I really hope that you guys liked watching this video. If you did, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you next time here at DIY Ideas. Bye guys!